The new solid hole function eliminates the need to draw and extrude from wireframe geometry to generate holes in your part. Select the function from the Solids tab. Choose the top of the hole locations and press Enter to create holes. The function immediately creates holes according to the parameters set in the function panel. In this case, we see the system defaults. Use the panel options to modify the hole settings. Set the depth of the hole and select from five different hole styles. Simple holes, counter bores, counter sinks, counter drills, and taper holes. We will make these two holes simple holes with a half inch diameter and have them extend entirely through the target body. The solid hole function includes multiple categories of commonly used hole dimensions. In this demonstration, we will start with a 6 mm cap screw from the metric version of the socket head cap screws category. To quickly find a preset hole, filter by unit and start typing in the search field. Note that even though we have applied a hole from the metric category, Mastercam converts the dimensions to inches, our current unit of measurement. We can customize this hole and save it to our own library so we can reuse it. Name your operations to more easily recognize them in the Solids Manager. All hole operations are displayed in the Solids Manager history tree and can be edited from there. Right-click the operation in the Solids History tree and select Edit Parameters from the menu. Click the Reselect All button and set the Quick Mask to Only Arcs. Using the Quick Mask lets us select the center points of all of the arcs at once. After you pick the hole positions, press Enter to modify the parameters in the panel. The OK and Regenerate button automatically regenerates the operations in the Solids History Tree. By default, the hole function creates holes on the top of the current construction plane, but you can change the orientation of the holes. Here, we will align holes to a selected face. When we pick a reference to align to, the panel displays the change in orientation. Now we can choose our points and create holes that will align to the face we selected. We will create these holes with a preset from the custom library. We can also align holes to a vector. We will use the same holes that we used in the previous operation. Another method we can use to align our holes is to create a new plane with Mastercam's dynamic gnomon. Place the gnomon on a face and align it to the desired direction. In the New Plane panel, name the plane. Notice how the plane orientation confirms that we are placing the holes on the plane we created in the New Plane panel. Now, we can create our holes. We will use the same holes that we used in the previous two operations. Of course, you can easily align holes to system planes and previously named planes. This makes it easy to add holes to the bottom of our part. Simply choose the plane, pick the positions, and set the dimensions. Create and edit holes easily with the new solid hole function and Mastercam 2019.